Welcome back, my welding family. Once again here, Rosendo Rodriguez, welding fly duck. Now today I'm here with Dakota and the Well Tube Squad. Now on today's video, we are here at Miller's headquarters in Wisconsin. Appleton, Wisconsin, south of the border. Now we're gonna be working on some RMD videos so you don't wanna miss out. Stand by. Hey guys, we're here in Wisconsin. Rob Miller's pipe welding shop today. Uh, we're going to be doing some wire feed off the Pipeworks 400. we got the expert Craig Spindler with us today. Hi, right, so the Pipeworks 400 is full multi-process. So we're able to stick weld, TIG weld, as well as different MIG processes like flux core, RMD, and pulse. And today we're going to be using some RMD for the root pass, uh, open butt root. We'll be using a uh, a ER70S6 wire, and typically we're starting around 200 inches a minute, 0.0, .0 on arc length, and then once we're done with that root pass, we will go into the pulse for our filling cap passes um, to finish out the weld. Let's do some welding here, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so on today's video, we're gonna be welding some downhill RMD MIG root. So here we have this pipe right here, it's a six inch Schedule 80. Now, our preferred size, Dakota, it's a, it's a 532, correct? Yeah, we got about 532 gap here, a snug 532 with you know, a 16th land or so. We'll do the root with RMD. Once we get that done, we'll uh, we'll fill it up with some pulse make going uphand. So we'll fill pass in and a cap on it and we'll be good to go. All right, so we got 035 70S6 wire. Uh, we have 90-10 gas, so 90% argon, 10% CO2 to run our pulse after this. Um, we're gonna be running, you figure, a 185, I think we were. We'll turn it down a bit for uh, position weld. And arc length will leave neutral, and I think we're pretty much set up here. Yeah, just uh, make sure you're always uh, on R&D. If you're doing R&D, you want to be at R&D and not have it somewhere else, at Flexport, MIG, or and so on. So make sure you double check your settings before you start. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so Dakota here just uh, feathering his tag. So make sure that you feather them nice and thin. Starts uh, and stops too. That's, that's right. Yep. Uh, you know, one thing that we like to do is make sure that when you feather, you know, it's thin enough. Uh, I like to see that bluish color right at the start. So, you know, that's a good sign that, hey, you're doing a, a pretty good job on your feathering. All right, so we're gonna start at the top here, going down hand. Um, obviously you got gravity on top here. So you're gonna kind of, uh, we'll weave it a bit to keep it fighting gravity on the top. And then, so yeah, kind of wash up onto the sides. And as you get down to the side, the easier part, we'll come down and we'll see where we get to. And then uh, we'll let you do your side too. Yeah. All right, so as he's coming down right now, you can see his wire tuned out and uh, he's trying to hit his walls. Kind of feels really good with his walls, so he'll, he'll do like a minor pause. As he's coming down his pipe, you'll see that he wants to drag it. Now that uh, we got gravity working with us here on the side, it's a little bit easier. Alright, where's that top? All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now I'm going to do my side um, from the top to about the middle, right to this tag. Now, I just feather my tags, and I'm looking at them, and they look pretty nice. They're nice and blue. I'm going to go ahead and restart. I'm going to start on the top. I'm going to start right where I started feathering from. All right, so I'm going to start weaving it across until I start seeing uh, my, my keyhole blowing up on me. That's when I'm going to start actually doing my route. So right as I'm coming down right here, I see that I don't have to weave it too much. So I'll just pop, uh, just start dragging it. Make sure that my wire is about a 16 behind the leading edge of my puddle. Barely, barely weave it. As you're coming down, you're pulling down on the back handle of your, your MIG gun. 
haul your puddle all the way through. Don't rush it. Tie in. Don't rush it. Pop out. Oh, that's going in awesome there. Came out, came out pretty good. So just a simple method. Watch your puddle. Fuse them with your wallet. We like to do this little minor minor pause on each wall. So it's not it's not a, a slow two seconds. It's just more like a quick one two. Yeah, very quick. Quick one two. Go across the other side. One two and, and so on. Just follow your puddle. All right, guys, close up the bottom here. I turned my wire speed down about 10 inches a minute. Just to cool it off a bit on the bottom here. So we'll go from about three o'clock to six o'clock here and close this side up. I'm gonna go to Canada after this. <laughs> Come to us in time for winter. Yeah, the side's a lot easier. You got gravity working with you. See once we get to the bottom here. Just like that. Hey, nice, nice. Pretty good in there. Travis? That is Travis. Travis is on set. Like his pants. Hey. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now I'm gonna do my side. I'm gonna start from halfway all the way to six o'clock. I already feathered my tacks, nice and clean, nice and blue. Let's go ahead and uh, freehand this, all right? Here we go. Having that little bit of a land on there, this seems to help the heat. Doesn't quite uh, blow the pipe walls away right away. It gives you that second to slow down, break it down, get fusion on both sides, and take your time across the bottom. All right, love it. You know, nice and steady flow. You know that landing, that gap will make a huge difference. Now, by all means. You might not want a landing, that's up to you. It works either way. That's what we prefer. Whatever you get used to. Yeah, it comes out really good, so why not? All right, so we got the root in. Uh, we're gonna do pulse, MIG, hot pass, fill pass. Um, providing this be an x-ray weld, you wanna have it nice and clean. So I'm just gonna knock down a little high spot on the center, high spot on the stop. And if there's any kind of wagon track or you know a little bit of silica here or there, give it a clean out before you throw your next pass on. And, Actually, tough to be happy. Oh yeah, man, man, I hated seeing them right behind you. Oh yeah, just chasing not, you, just <laughs> waiting, just dreading on a ribbon. Yeah. All Thank right. You. Oh, let's give this clean up quick. All right. So, time for the hot fill. Uh, what do we got a machine set up here? That so, right, 210. Yeah, 210 wire speed, and then you turn the arc lengths up. Well, that was for what the spatter, or you turn up your your arc length. It reduces uh, spatter. Uh, it's so smoother right. of an arc. It's then. smoother of an arc, exactly. So uh, it seems like it works for us. Point two is probably the way to go yeah. for us. So nice in position, yeah. temperature, and uh, puddle. Yeah, let's see. Uh, nice thing with these Bernard guns, too, is you can twist the neck on it. So instead of having to be stuck a certain way, you twist it, get comfortable, and you can do nice and comfy the whole way. Yeah, we we'll do a fill here. has a uh, similar kind of technique to handling the puddle as you would with a 7018 uphand as well, where it's just pause on the side, let it let out, dip across that center and pause on each side. And uh, for being in position, pulse MIG, 
a very, very easy puddle to handle. Not wanting to droop or get out of control on you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now I'm gonna do my side, all right? So remember, we are going uphill. We're doing some pulse mig. Um, one thing that I like to do is always feather uh, wherever my partner started from. So I'm gonna feather his area and have it nice and clean, looking like a slide, all right? And we wanna fuse in really good, so make it look nicely clean. All right, so I'm gonna start going from bottom to top. Yeah, your inside's glowing nice and red, so you know you're getting fusion, but it's not to the point where you're melting through or getting sucked back at all, so. Heat seems to be good there. It's probably gonna be the easiest thing ever. A simple way to simulate this, or to explain it, it's kinda like doing 7018 uh, stick uphill. All the way through, all the way through. Now I'm about to tie in right here. You don't want to rush anything. Just keep it nice and smooth, same rhythm all the way through. All right, we got her flushed out. A little below flush for MIG. Leave that room for the cap. Um, we're gonna cap it now. It's very same technique to filling. You know, kind of like 718. Pause on those sides, let it guide in, fill up. Right across the center, pause. You don't get that center droop, you get fusion on your sides, and I don't know, this is uh, not too complicated. Yet. The Pipeworks 400 is full multi-process. We're able to stick well, dig well, as well as different mix processes like flux core, RMD, and pulse. The Pipework 400 is full multi-process. I'm gonna go ahead and do my side. I'm gonna go uphill again. It's kind of like stick. You're, you're looking for the same, same. Uh, your photo acts the same way as a 7018 stick uphill. So, you know, we're sweeping across fast. You know, we're doing that quick, pa uh, quick sweep, pause on the walls. It's a fast two count, all right? So, you're counting fast. It's not. Don't count too slow. So remember, if you see that belly in the middle, it's probably because your travel speed's too slow. So be, be on the lookout for that. We're sweeping across fast. Pause on the walls. It's a fast, huge count. Love it, you know, nice and steady flow. You know, that landing, that gap would make a huge difference. Yeah, Dakota, I mean, it took us like three passes to go ahead and complete this well. So you know what? Bring in the pipes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a fast process. I really did like it. Uh, good in position for handling the metal too. It's not Yeah, it's, it's not, not, it's not super yeah, out of control power or anything like that. Like, yeah, definitely. So not, yeah, not just a roll welding process. This is an all around, all position. Oh yeah, works awesome. Yeah, we should probably do like a six feet next time. Stringers, <laughs> stringers. String all right, ladies and gentlemen. So there you have it. This was the uh, Miller Pipe Works 400. Uh, we enjoyed it today. Everything. Uh, I'm sorry. The route was downhill, and everything else was uphill with holes. Really easy to control. Really easy to manage. Simple clicks, you know, you, you do your settings and so on. It does stick, tig, mig, you name it. Uh, so real simple to uh, control. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, remember, we are doing a series of videos here at Miller headquarters in Wisconsin. So you don't want to miss out. Stay tuned for the next video. We're here with Rock. the Well Tube Squad in Appleton, Wisconsin. Cody Bowman, one of the main dudes on the dynamic dig. Yeah, that one, I'll take that one. A little fatter. We're here. Appleton, Wisconsin at the one known as Miller HQ.